Hi guys, this is Robert Clark from OmniTechNews.net. So some of you guys, about 20 of you, have voted for me to do a What's in My Dark video. And Carson, Lucas, and Brendan will also be doing theirs, but I thought I'd start it off by doing mine. Now, first of all, I would like to apologize for the extremely bad frame rate. The reason that this frame rate is so bad is I have every single program that's in my dock open and it makes my computer extremely slow. There's about five different editing programs open. There's Photoshop, lots of different applications are open. So uh, let's just start off. I am using Windows 7 and th because I'm using Windows 7, I can actually do a video like this. Uh, of course, lots of people do it on a Mac, but I don't see why there's any problem doing it on Windows. So the first application here is uh, Google Chrome. I used to use Firefox, but I just decided that Chrome was running a bit faster and it crashed YouTube less and I go on YouTube a lot and Hulu and uh, I found that it works better with those two things, so that's why I'm using Chrome. Next thing in my dock is uh, Windows Explorer, very, very necessary app very necessary application uh, that I use which basically manages all my files very useful for you know when for finding all the Omnitech news videos and stuff like that by the way I'm not I'm not going in terms of most used content right here most used applications although the very two on the very end those are my use, most used applications I do use Chrome pretty much every single day and same with Windows Explorer that's why I have those two at the very beginning the third thing along is uh, Video Redo. Now this is a great application if you're using TiVo. You can basically pull the video from your TiVo, uh, take out the ads, export it, and then use it as on an app as a video file. Excuse me, on your um, MP3 player or your you know your iPhone, your Zune, whatever device you use. So uh, Video Redo is a very very useful application if you have a TiVo, and I'd highly recommend getting it. It's about, only about thirty dollars. And it, honestly, it's it's a really good buy. So the next application is DVD Decryptor. I'm not. I'm just gonna say it's DVD Decryptor. I'm not gonna say much about it, but go and look it up if you really want to. DVD Decryptor. There's a reason why I'm not talking about it a lot. Uh, the fourth one, or the fifth one, along sorry, is um, Word. I use this quite a lot, you know, to do school documents. Sometimes to do OmniTech News documents, and can come in handy for that. The sixth one along on my dock is uh, Excel, which I kind of use for, you know, finances and stuff, but it's just there because I don't have to have it right at the very end of my dock then. Okay, the next two are both email email applications. The first one is Windows Live Mail, and this is very useful for um, the... Uh, emails from all the Omnitech News emails are right here and uh, it's very good for managing all Hotmail accounts which the Omnitech News emails are under. Next one along is my personal email which is um, my just my personal email in general. It's got all my emails right here for all my personal stuff and uh, yeah that, that this is basically my main photo my main email application and uh, I use Ex exchange for it and that's why it runs very well on it. The next one is Zune. Yes, I don't use iPods. I'm a Zune guy. <laughs> yeah. And here's all my music. I've got tons of music. I love Zune Pass. I would use this for my videos. I've got a Zune HD so I can, you know, sync it all up. And I really like the Zune software. I think they've done a great job. Of course, it's quite slow right now so you can't see any a animations, but uh, yeah, it's a great, great music application, and I get all my music and all my videos, all my pictures on here. So, uh, yeah. Next application is Windows Live Writer. Yes, uh, this is very useful for on news blog posts, so I don't have to go on the website and uh, use the admin account to go on it there. This is a great way to just bl post blog posts um, from the desktop. Highly recommend it. It's free, just like Windows Live Mail right there, and Zoom, actually. By the way... Um, most of these are paid applications, except DVD Decryptor, uh, Windows Live Mail, Chrome, and of course Zune and you know Live Writer. Next one, I do like photography a lot, and uh, I use Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom, and I'm using the new beta one right now to post all my pictures. Found it's really great for um, just quickly touching up, retouching photos, and really really quickly publishing them to Flickr without any hassle even if your photos are in a, a NEF or a 
a raw format, which is kind of awkward for Flickr, which doesn't get along with, you know, the advanced photo imaging. So uh, the next one is one of my editors, which is Premiere Pro. Um, I do use Premiere occasionally. It can be used for advanced video editing. I sometimes use it for home movies. Um, and it can come in useful, you know, if I need to do some hardcore editing, I use Premiere and I just close every other application and I just do hardcore video editing. Next one is uh, Expression Encoder 3. Great encoder. I, I know the new one's coming out soon, Expression Encoder 4. Uh, I like this application. My dad actually worked on this um, in the past as his job and I really think it's a great video editor. You can get a free version of it which encodes many different files. It's got some very handy features and uh, yeah, I, I use this a lot when I've just pumped something out of Video Redo and then I want to put, put it as a WMV or a .mov file so that comes in very useful for just quickly converting something. Next one is Photoshop. Don't need to say a lot about this. Great application for video edit. I mean, image editing. Uh, Adobe's done a great job on this. This is the new CS. I think it's yeah, CS5 or C yeah, CS5. Keep. I've lost track. I've got CS4 and CS5 Master Suite on this. I've done an unboxing of CS4 Master Suite, but uh, yeah, great, great picture editor, image editor. Next one is Adobe Illustrator, which I use for vector imaging. I I love vector. I think it's something that. Uh, is very useful for creating extremely large images and it's got some really pro features that are very useful and make my image editing a lot faster. Uh, the next application on my dock is Audacity which is a really really good audio editor which is free so go and look it up Audacity it's got some very cool features I believe it's got some uh, yeah, it's got about like 30 effects. I mean, it's it's a really great little application if you want to record something on your microphone. Next application I have in my dock is Avid Liquid, which is a ext extremely old editor. It's about three years old now, but I use it as my primary video editor just because of how well it handles AVCHD, which is what my camera shoots in and. Uh, which means I can basically pull this video full screen in 1080p and run it at 30 frames a second. And it's very good. I mean, it just does the job very well compared to some of the others, which I've had lots of problems with codecs and stuff like that. So, um, Avid Liquid, great application for AVCHD ed editing. And as you can see, there are actually two of them in here. It's because if you click on this one, it will open another window, which is kind of weird. Uh, next application in my dock is um, Sony Vegas Pro 9, which is a good vi editor if I want to um, pull a video that I've got done from maybe like just a home video, and I want to just do some quick touch-ups, but I don't want to have lots of CPU. This is very a light editor, in my opinion. I know they advertise it as a heavy editor, but compared to some of the other editors I have on this computer, um, Vegas Pro 9 is actually kind of quite light compared to, you know, maybe Premiere or uh, Avid, I guess you could say. Uh, next application is Adobe Media Encoder. I use this only because of Premiere, and that's the application that renders all the video from Premiere and pumps it out into usable video. The, the uh, fourth from the last is ABC HD Upshift. Amazing application. I can't thank company that made this enough it makes it very convenient to um, run AVCHD video on my computer for av like Avid or Premiere it makes it a lot faster uh, and I can basically run the application and run AVCHD video very very fast so very very neat application for people that use uh, AVCHD video the next application is Steam I've done a review on this on Omnitech News great application you, I've got all my games on here must have for a PC gamer. I don't even get any, I don't even go into the game store anymore. I just get all my applications or my games on uh, Steam. Steam is just amazing. Uh, second to last, I basically have all my social networking applications on the end. Sometimes I have Skype right on the end when I use that. Uh, but the second to last one is Messenger. I'm not going to open that up in detail because it's got all my contacts on it. But yeah, Windows Live Messenger, I don't use AIM or 
uh, Jabba or whatever, whatever is the current craze right now. Windows Live Messenger is just because uh, my, some of my email addresses use Windows Live Mail and it's just convenient to use Windows Live Messenger. Last one is TweetDeck. Yes, probably my second most uh, used application. I don't have it at the beginning because I kind of like having all my social networking things at the very end. And uh, yeah, I, I really like TweetDeck. It's my favorite Windows... Windows application, I guess you could say, for Twitter. It's very useful, very very light. Uh, it's Adobe Air, and it's free. So there's just two applications I want to show on the very end, which is the smaller icons that are in the system tray. The first one is Wakupa. This can be useful just to check my stats. Um, I did a review on Wakupa, and it's a very, very neat application. And the, the, the very last one I want to show you is Mesh. Mesh is very cool. Windows Live Mesh. Just go to mesh.com. I've done a review on that in the past. Uh, have all your devices connected and synced up with all your documents and everything like that. So this has been Robert Clark from OmnitechNews.net doing my first video that has been requested on our YouTube.com slash OmnitechNews channel. And uh, we'd definitely like to see more of those in the future. I know there's another one. Uh, we want You want to see some desk tours from all our, our members of Omnitech News, and we will do that. And I'm sure uh, Brandon, Carson, and Lucas will be doing desk tours and what's in their doc videos. Um, as again, I, I apologize for the extremely bad frame rate, but I thought it would be better than just pointing to the applications. Um, and actually giving you a peek of what's under the hood on each application. So this has been Robert Clark from OmniTechNews.net. Thanks for watching.